Students who live off campus depend on the Obi bus to get home at night. The bus operates from 5 to 11 p.m. on weekdays and 5 to 9 p.m. on weekends. Students have been complaining about the inefficiency of the Obi bus. Bus driver Tolani had a different story to tell. South Africa. I will lie she overload. If we let she overload, we are fine. If we in the ingles, we banj. So see Amber according to the Wednesday. As we pull them to the Wednesday. And one time I was in the bus and there were five people left outside and we refused to leave to leave them behind because the driver said this was the last bus and they instructed him to leave and not to come back for anyone. Sometimes ne, as an as if the opulent bus is full. The, the driver tells you that you can't take an overload because of traffic and then some students end up going to CPU and asking a leave from CPU but CPU as well tells you that no, you can't take a leave from them, they just campus protection units and then yeah, some students end up sleeping at Jack Labs or at the 24-hour section at the library. Even with students complaining about their safety many times on social media, there has been little change in how the buses run. The Opinion Councillor has not responded to the recent complaints regarding the Opi bus on the SRC page. This has led to the SRC President Gift Sunday intervening. When I get a call um, based on the bus, let's say it has left someone or this particular issue, then I contact the, the opinion warden and then we make plans as to how we're going to go about um, making sure that there's a second trip. And obviously that goes to the SRC's account. There has been no clear response from the university's management. While drivers say they have not left anyone behind, students continue to complain about their compromised safety. This is Nubari Inishabira reporting for Makana Prime Time.